This video shows how to change uh, a link you know, on our ASP.NET website uh, in uh, the way how it's shown. So uh, what we see here is uh, that's my uh, testing uh, website and the, the website itself is uh, an ASP uh, served on a developed on ASP.NET uh, website on web forms. But uh, web forms or MVCs, uh, there's no difference in this point. Uh, you see this uh, terrible uh, link there. This uh, my small uh, link template where my uh, items of the, my folder are. And what we have here in uh, my uh, developing site on my uh, on the Visual Studio is the code behind this. It's uh, written in a small user control. And we have here uh, this uh, link that's uh, on all systems the same. And whenever you uh, uh, implement a link there, here it's uh, an anchor, anchor uh, link. <coughs> and you may set here your uh, style elements. But if you have a list like, uh, like this, the list below there, this one, then um, you don't want to program all that stuff uh, in. Uh, so, th so the point is that you may change it in a uh, in a CSS class <coughs> a style class. And uh, now the point is, how does this uh, class go? Uh, style class go on there? Uh, what we have to do when we have that link we have to say here in our uh, in the link itself either it's a uh, anchorage link or a, um, default link or on any other uh, HTML uh, element which you're programming there when it, you have to uh, extend this uh, element by the uh, property class and there you may say um, um, you may give this a, a name. Let's say this is my uh, my link, okay? My link, which should have another uh, 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 sh uh, sh shows uh, in another way. And what we have to do now uh, to set this, we we don't want to set up this class. We are we will set up this style sheet in uh, let's say inline. And I already prepared that this uh, stuff, so it's a bit easier to say. Uh, all you have to do when you have here, for example, this uh, div block, you have to insert a small uh, style element, text style here, and uh, the <coughs> the style to this uh, element here to this link, my link will be uh, written uh, placed there if you place the dot and then the um, the element which we have there yeah that's the style sheet that's the style sheet which we uh, which works on here and he and here we say okay <coughs> you see this it's uh, intellisense uh, you may say uh, my link for example here and now we said uh, the front color should be blue. Let's see what what was it there? Uh, no, not blue. White. <coughs> Let's say white. White. And text decoration is none. So and when I save it, saving, and then uh, going there again, and when I refresh the stuff, then the HTML stuff is. Uh, automatically reloaded there. Now we have something like this. Okay. Mm, let's see this one. Now my link color is uh, white and large. Nothing is in there. Okay. Uh, now run it, run it again. <coughs>
Na, komm an. Now, this one didn't work. But, um, front color is white. And what we have to say, this is now a, ah, yeah, it, it's because it's an anchor. And there we have to say my color. Uh, no, no, not here, in, not inside the, uh, the tag. We have to say my link. And then uh, with a double point, we have to say when it's uh, visited or not. And it would say hover, for example. The hover, uh, how it looks like that. And then we would say, okay, color uh, back. Back color it should be uh, orange in this case. Terrible. Color text decoration none. Yeah. Now when I save it and when I reload it, yep. Yeah. And but what I don't like there, it's uh, it takes all that space there. Hate background, background. Ah, there's a background of this color. And top one size large. Now let's take this one. Uh, font size is maybe let's say twelve pixel. And well, that's too small, and also the link itself is too big because there is a padding in there. Yeah, and we don't want to have this padding in the link. Now I say refresh. Yeah, now that's it. And now we will say this one to set this up to large again. Now, what's important at this point for me is, and what I want to show you, whenever you want to change something uh, in uh, in your HTML website, then you may set up uh, the design as a style sheet, uh, inline style sheet here and uh, in front of the uh, before before the uh, element, HTML element is uh, entered. And there you say, okay, uh, here is my dot style sheet uh, or style of this element, and then set here the glass. And this should work. Now, saving and reloading. Yes, that's it, yeah. And uh, but not the white. I don't know why the white doesn't come up at the moment. White. Let's do. Uh, let's show. Ah, that's written something in. A link, a link. A link. Mm. Now let's say that's it. Link. Now we have it. No, it didn't work. I link. Uh, okay, I don't know why this one, why it didn't accept the uh, color at the moment. Uh, have to be true there, uh, uh, but 
when we have for example this one this element this is uh, written in the default uh, at the runtime code so this is the user control this is my user control and user control and there's the code behind now uh, generate this uh, block this table block there yeah, inside there I add at runtime always a row so there's a, a new row give me a new uh, table cell and also add this um, this link and there's the same when you say there it's a you want this uh, the link with the CSS uh, stylesheet class and you will say okay uh, there's a, a list items in folder then you don't have to uh, then you don't have to program the other stuff and the cascaded style sheet will be uh, taken by that so when I go out now here and I'm loading it in, in there then all I have to do there is I have to say uh, this one and then I may set up all my stuff there say okay this is my list item in that folder let me say okay do something with this one font normal normal font size is here a medium font size normal that's the color maybe be in this way uh, this color blue and texture decoration is also none and as soon as it hovers also do something or default let's say this is the list item in folders when hovering then say something like this okay now we run it and always remember take here a style block before it comes to the HTML element. Yes, and as you see, there's uh, now this new element written in there. And for this one, I don't know why it, why it doesn't accept this one. I would go there and say okay here also add a style sheet uh, a style and there say the front color is white so at least then it should work now please now that's it that's what I wanted so I hope I could help you and if you uh, like a bit more of that stuff then uh, you may tell me.